Hey guys, my name is Yellow Knight Wisdom and this is a guide to Olympic diving. Finally, an event that I can actually relate to. Although I haven't actually done three meter synchro in a couple of years, I've had some great experiences and a lot of fun alongside my partners in this event. I think my first ever synchro competition was at the national age groups in Southampton in 2006 on one meter, which is quite rare. But I was alongside my best friend, Chris Nichols. Another one of my synchro partners was Josh Dowd. And although we weren't very good at staying in sync sometimes, we still had some really good results, including the national bronze medal. My favourite synchro performance has to be alongside Matthew Roberts when we entered nationals and we were the only ones in the event until a pair entered at the last minute. But we had so much fun in the competition going through our four routines in between these dives to the point where we actually got told to hurry up by the announcers. But amongst all this, we both dived the best we had ever dived at that time and came out with a great score of 387 which remains our synchro PB to this day. Men's and women's 3 meter synchro works in the exact same way as 10 meter synchro. Men do 6 dives from 5 groups and women do 5 dives from 5 groups, not forgetting the 2 required dives at the start of the list. One of the most dramatic events in Olympic history happened in this event at the 2004 Athens Olympic Games when the Greek team upset all odds by beating the Americans, the Russians and the Chinese to take away the gold medal. The Chinese failed their final dive. Dmitry Stalin from Russia hit the board on his last dive. And the Americans basically bottled it and landed really, really short on their reverse twist. All this allowed for the Greeks to sneak through and become one of the most unlikely Olympic champions. The current Olympic champions in this event are two of my good friends and training partners from back here in Leeds, Chris Mears and Jack Law. Their incredible performance in Rio upset the usually dominant Chinese team and they took home the gold medal. In the women's event, Legendary Chinese diver Wu Ming Sha won an unprecedented four Olympic titles in a row from 2004 all the way through to 2016 with three different synchro partners along the way. At the Commonwealth Games, Jack and Chris will be looking to defend their three meter synchro title that they won four years ago in Glasgow. Well, that was a dive that Jack Law missed yesterday, and Mears and Law coming out with this the 3.8 forward, four and a half somersaults in the tuck position. It's a huge, huge dive to finish on. It wasn't their best dive, but because of the degree of difficulty and that excellent synchronization, they are Commonwealth gold medalists. Also, Alyssi Black has the opportunity to defend her title that she won in 2014 alongside Rebecca Gallantry, but this time with a different synchro partner. Once again, thank you for watching. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on next week's Guide to Olympic Diving and also my preparation for the Commonwealth Games through my Life of the Jamaican Diver series. Any questions, drop them in the comments below. If not, peace out. I'll see you next time.